cooking. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I have another request here, and she was asking, uh, making tomato stew, oxtail uh, tomato stew base, tomato base, yeah. Okay, I make that all the time, and I, guys, I'm telling you, I made this before on a video, and on YouTube, and I noticed some of my videos are coming up missing. I don't know why, but if you see it on there, I remade it again. So here it is. Here's my oxtails. As you guys see before, you saw me wash them off, put them in the pot. I didn't season them because I wanted to take that first oil of grease off of the oxtail. So I rinsed them off and then put them back in here, put water in here. So I didn't, nothing is seasoned right now. So I'm going to put in my potatoes. I cut up about five potatoes, medium-sized potatoes. And I kind of brine these a little bit with some salt water. And then I rinse it off. And you're going to do that. And then you're going to put garlic. I didn't have that in a row here. And Miss Marty Pass didn't have that. I like to use my white spoon. She named it Spoony. So when you guys hear me say spooning, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to use one and these many spooning, all right? Then I'm going in with my better than bouillon using spooning. Let me use about two. Adjust your season as you go, because I might have to go back and add some more. And I did let my oxtail cook for about two to three hours. Now you put them in a cart pot and cook them overnight, you probably won't find them like Miss Smarty Pants did. She cooked some oxtails, I guess about a month ago, and it was really good, but you couldn't find it because they were so tender, they were off the bone. All right, now I'm going to use chicken rub. I said that's probably more like four tablespoons. Then I'm going to add my Rotel Hot. Then I'm going to add my onions, which is two small onions, but if you have one large one, that's fine. And then here is celery, bell pepper, orange pepper, red bell pepper, and three serranos. You don't have to put serranos in there if you don't want to. Okay? Now I'm going to use my pepper. Black pepper. Okay, from there I'm going to stir them up. Okay, and I'm going to put my tomatoes and my tomato paste in there last because I want the potatoes to be done first. You want to let this cook for about an hour or until your potatoes are tender. And then by that time you want to go and taste your broth. You can taste it now. Yeah, I'm going to have to put more seasoning in here. So let me do that now. And my chicken rub isn't salty, so you may have to add some salt to it. And to get it, www.carlisespices.com. Okay. 
You want to put a lid on this. Like I said, cook it for about an hour, but you just cook it until your potatoes are tender. Even though I just put that seasoning in here, let me taste. Yeah, better. All right, I'll be back when this okay, is so almost done. I forgot to show you guys, I'm adding mixed vegetables. You can put how many packs you want. I buy this in a bulk. So let me show you what I mean in a bulk. I buy this big bag like that. And inside of it is individual bags. So you can put two, or you can put one, and I might put just two. Let me cut this open. Yeah, now one was frozen, but that's okay. In the unthaw. All right. Like I said, adjust your seasoning. If you guys see my stove, I had the lid on it. And with the the vapors and all that, it's just kind of like, ugh, all on the stove. So now I gotta clean this mess up. All right. Now, my next one is tomato paste. I'm using Spoonie. I'm going to use probably about three. And this, I'll say it's about a tablespoon and a half for each spoon full that I put in here. And you know the tomato paste, guys, makes things thicker. It'll thicken it up, which was already getting thick from the potatoes. If you want to, more tomato paste, by all means put that in there. To me I like the tomato, tomato -y taste. I think I'm going to add another one. Okay. And then I have uh, Roman tomatoes. And I think I have more than this. And this is like three cutting wedges. And I did go back and added a pack of onion lipid soup mix. No, it won't make it salty. Let this finish cooking and I'll be back. Okay, so I stirring this up with that uh, that can of tomato paste, guys. I just went on ahead and put the whole thing in there. It, it's not gonna hurt it. Matter of fact, it just makes it thicker. See, let's make it a little thicker. This is good on a winter day. I wish that. At the moment that I lived in Texas, and I would just serve some of this to the families down there. I really would. I wish I could do that. I really do. And what did I add? Just that whole can of tomato paste. That's all I did. Go back and adjust your seasoning. Taste to see if you like it. Okay. I made a pan of uh, spicy cornbread, which is called Mexican cornbread. 
So I made it and here it is. So guys, this is good. This is good on a winter day, a fall day. It's just good, period. Look at it. But I will tell you this. 